The Reading Language Arts STAR test will have match table grid questions on the 2023 test. You may be wondering, what is a match table grid question? Or more importantly, how do I help my students prepare? In this video, you will learn what is match table grid, how to solve, and how to integrate into your classroom. Angela here from Custom Classroom. Before we get started, I wanted to remind you that I'm not affiliated with TEA or STAR. This is my interpretation as a Texas educator and test prep writer. To help students learn more about the new item types, I created three free sets of task words, one for elementary, middle school, and high school. There is a link to the free download in the description. In this video, I will refer to one of the elementary task cards. There are six new item types. In this video, I will focus on match table grid questions. Match table grid is a question where students will select an answer from a table. To better help you and your students learn how to answer a match table grid question, let's work through one from start to finish. First, let's look at the question and table. Fill in the circles to show whether each option describes Lucy or the kitten. Lucy and the kitten was always losing things, is only worried about washing, goes about looking for help. So now we know we need to think about Lucy and the kitten while we're reading. Let's look at the passage. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Lucy who lived at a farm called Littletown. She was a good little girl, only she was always losing her mittens. One day, little Lucy came into the farmyard crying, oh, she did cry so, I've lost my mittens, three mittens. Have you seen them, Tabby Kitten? The kitten went on washing her white paws, so Lucy asked a speckled hen, Sally Henny Penny, has you found three mittens? But the speckled hen ran into a barn, clucking. I go barefoot, barefoot, barefoot. And then Lucy asked a robin sitting on a twig. The robin looked sideways at Lucy with his bright black eye, and he flew, flew over a stile and away. Lucy climbed upon the stile and looked up at the hill behind Littletown a hill that goes up, up into the clouds, as though it had no top. Let's look back at the question and table. Fill in the circles to show whether each option describes Lucy or the kitten. Let's evaluate each option. First was always losing things. If we look at the passage, it shows that Lucy was always losing her mittens. So Lucy sounds like a good answer. Next is only worried about washing. The passage shows that the kitten went on washing, so the kitten sounds like a good answer. Finally, goes about looking for help. If we look back in the passage, we will see Lucy goes and asks the kitten, the hen, and the robin for help. So Lucy sounds like the best option. That leaves us with answers A, D, and E as the best answer choices. Now you may be wondering, how do I integrate this style of question into my classroom? This style of question is a lot harder to create than others. Take a question you have already planned or used in the past that is about character, plot, or comparing. These are the easiest to change into a table. Then create a table and use the answer choices to describe either the characters, the events, or comparing topics. I hope you found this video helpful. If you are looking to help your students practice match table grid questions, there is a link to three free sets of task cards in the description. Good luck.